Hola, buenos dias, everyone. It is about 9.30 in the morning and we are on the south side of Ensenada, which is a pretty decent sized town or city on the west coast of Baja. We held up at all places Walmart last night because it was getting dark and I've got really bad headlights. I can't see further than just a, a few dozen feet with those headlights. And so it would be hard to find a place to pull off and sleep for the night. So we took our chances and boxed me in at the Walmart. At one point I was kind of nervous about it because when I get tired after I've been driving all day and I'm trying to wind down and put everything at the front of the bus to uh, get in bed and I'm afraid that there's gonna be a knock at the door. Hey, what's up, man? Look at these guys. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's unsettling and a security guard for the Applebee's you, you think we hadn't even left uh, the United States Was trying to get my attention while I was inside the bus and I thought oh no here we go You know, maybe we can find another place around But I looked at him and he waved at me almost kind of like a hey man cool bus wave So I kind of knew we, at that point we were signed off to sleep here and so that's what we did and it, and it worked out now it's uh, time to hit the road heading south. Probably pop into Walmart and buy a big jug of water. We've got purified drinking water on board, but it's packed away right now under the bed. And so we might as well go ahead and get some easy access water. They don't ask for too much uh, money for it. Then it's back on the road and we're gonna head towards Guerrero Negro. Now this isn't the way I've typically come down through Mexico, but I've got information that the roads that we were gonna take because of a hurricane that came through knocked out bridges and things. And I'm used to broken roads. I don't like broken roads, but not bridges that have been taken out. This bus, I just don't trust it to do very much. It doesn't have very much clearance. There's a big uh, sway bar on the front of it that's only a few inches off the ground. So we're taking this route instead, and we'll see how it works out. One of the things here in Mexico is guys come down and wash cars in the parking lots like this while people are either, you know, if it's their job and they're parked here or in shopping you see these guys come down with some water and their cleaning equipment and we'll wash your car while you're doing your shopping. Pretty cool. Oh, another thing I thought was pretty cool that uh, I hadn't noticed before is here when the green light is about to turn yellow and then red at an intersection, the green light, when it's about to time out, starts flashing. So it gives you just a little bit of extra uh, warning about what's about to happen and I think that that should be like that in the United States. The first time I saw it, I knew exactly what was going on, and so it was, it's intuitive. Passing stuff along. See ya. I don't know where we are. We're somewhere, we're on the West Coast, yeah. We're somewhere in between uh, Ensenada and Guerrero Negro, probably 35% of the way there, 40% of the way there. And we're just stopping for lunch. Not sure what the name of this place is. Yeah, like if we're gonna spend the night, you know. We just got to Mulahe. And I'm here with Danielle, and I have the bike off. He helped me get the bike off. Here's Danielle, the only mechanic I trust. Here's the, uh, let me see if the uh, sprocket's in there. So he's gonna do the repairs, and we're gonna give him all the time he needs. And I'm pretty excited to get the motorcycle back on the road. And here we are in Mulehe. Feels good to finally reach our destination town. 
we still need to get out and get our camp spots and get settled. We're not settled, but we're here. And that's, I'll take that right now. Cammy and Tamara are in getting uh, purified water and maybe a few groceries. We're gonna seek out perhaps some avocados and a bag of oranges, just a few light things. And uh, just basically enjoy the fact that we're here. This is my third visit total to Mulehe. It's my favorite place on the Bay of Conception. My Bay, the Bay of Conception is my favorite place in Baja. Although to be fair, I haven't been to Cabo San Lucas, Toro Santos, or many of the other places you'll find if you look up top five or top 10 places to visit. The wind, we don't have our uh, wind screen on the mic. We'll get that on in future videos, <laughs> right? <laughs> 